Welcome to AstroFest 2025. Behind me is the first floor of the exhibition, and I want to show you all the cool tech that's on display this year. We're going to start over here at the Skywatcher booth, where they have a dual setup, where they mounted two telescopes to an EQ6 Pro. Really cool setup and really cool idea to just, instead of locking around massive counterweights, just add another telescope and use that as a counterweight and get twice as much light gathering capability. Obviously, it's a lot more expensive and suddenly you're going to be running in um, old azimuth mode, meaning you're susceptible to field rotations and all the other stuff, but kind of cool concept. We moved over to the Prima Luca Labs and not only were they showing off their new Eagle 6, the latest version of the Eagle, dedicated video coming out on that, by the way, but they were also showing off this massive, massive rig with automated um, the flat field panel and everything. It was really, really cool. Right next to them, we have the 365 Astro store, and they were actually showcasing their brand new lineup of their own telescopes that they were going to be launching later this year. Um, so really cool to see, and it's nice to see more brands making telescopes, adding more competition into the field. Well, it's only good for consumers, I guess. But what, first like optics, they also have this really cool quadruple setup. I talked to the guys over there and said, it's not really a practical setup. It's not something you want to, um, to actually deploy, but, it's more like a, a showpiece um, and the idea about what you could do um, if you wanted to. And of course, they said if the, the idea behind it was if you were going to shoot both RGB and luminance frames, you could do all of it at once with this quadruple setup. Um, they're also showing up some really cool new star boxes um, that, they were, um, that they were showcasing here. I'll have a video again coming up out about this as well if you want to dive into more details about this. Orion Optics UK were showing up some of their uh, observatory-grade telescopes. These like massive Newtonians were absolutely amazing. The secondary mirror, those will pretty much put the main mirror in my own Newtonian to shame. So that's awesome to see. The price tag um, was also thereafter. It was quite an expensive piece, but it's cool to see and try to get like up close and personal with some of this equipment that you could only dream of ever getting your hands on trying yourself. And now that we are talking observatory grade equipment, QSI was showing off their professional line of, uh, of cameras with built-in uh, filter wheels. And I asked them why they were asked, you're adding the filter wheels built-in and not as a, an extra you would put on. They say that it was simply just to reduce the overall optical length of the, the camera and filter length. They were assuming everybody who does this professionally would want to put some kind of filter wheel on it. So they just embedded it into the camera. This allowed them to, say, to have less light leakage between the camera and the filter wheel which also means that, that of course, you're going to get better images, you're going to get less, um, less light leakage around that area. And again, you can reduce the overall uh, optical path, giving you options to add more equipment without breaking your back focus. But it's not just gear that they have on display here. Up on the top floor, there was a imaging competition. It was really cool to see a lot of the images that people had brought in that were being judged. And later today, there's going to be a draw to try to find a winner which is going to be, uh, be fun. I'm not going to be around for that. I have a plane to catch, but it was really cool to see the pictures that people were showing off. Down in the basement, the British Interplanetary Society had their Soyuz capsule docking simulator on display that you could actually try. I had a go at it myself and got a successful dock and you got a little, um, you got a little uh, like certificate saying that you now manu manually docked a Soyuz capsule to, uh, to a space station. So that's really cool. I'll have a ton more videos coming out in the, in the next few days, showcasing a lot of the stuff that I've just been talking about. And overall, I had a really great time here at AstroFest. All the vendors behind me have a lot of their gears on discount, so you can get some really good prices if you consider coming here next year.